On our left, there is the Carmelite Church. This church has an oval dome, which can be viewed from Slema across the harbor. On the left, you can see the side of the Manuel Theatre. Oh. crossing each other in the form of a grid. This allowed cool air to flow into the city and helped to lower the hot temperatures during the summer times. experience Malta's history from the first inhabitants dating back to 7,000 years ago through an audiovisual presentation in 15 different languages. In 
friend of the North experience, Rene de Sabra, by Mary Webb. This was Hi, used by the Knights of St. John and was one of the best hospitals at the time. It had 600 beds and then one could be treated there. Presently, it is being used as a conference center. In fact, it is one of the most attractive and popular conference centers in Europe. So this is the Grand Harbor. There is Fort Ricasley, where Gladiator and Troy were filmed, and the Three Cities. The Three Cities are older than Valletta, and their names are Cospicua, Victoriosa, and Sanglea. The War Memorial Bell of the Second World War, and the Lower Baraka Garden. is more residential, while the city center is more commercial. During the times in which the British ruled over these islands, Valletta had around 24,000 residents, while today it has decreased to only 6,500. Although Valletta is very busy with tourists, this city sees thousands of people coming every day for work in retail outlets, offices, government departments and the law courts. We are approaching the city center, which is the commercial area. There are various museums, St. John's Co Cathedral, shops, cafes and restaurants. We will end the tour in the main square, in front of the Grand Master's Palace. This is the pickup point to go back to the Slima Ferry. Thank you. 
you guys. So this is that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So after half an hour, we're gonna pass from here. Bring you back for the ferry. Seven o'clock is the last one. Thank you.